Hey everybody, just back with another video. We got some really uh, interesting news. There was uh, just another uh, latest Angus Reed poll modeled out. We're definitely going to get into that in just one second. But first, if you don't mind, before we get into this, uh, just please like and subscribe the video. It really helps grow the channel and I appreciate every single one of you who does. Also leave your opinion in the comment section as I enjoy uh, reading and engaging with you guys as well. So this is from Charisse, uh not sure how to say that name, um, but apparently he he's from uh, Angus Reed, and I've actually heard of this guy before, and he seems to be actually very accurate in predicting these, you know, uh, these modeling these polling models to predict who's going to be the next prime minister or the next premier of, of said province. But right now, what he has is the Conservatives at two hundred and twenty seven seats, the Bloc at forty eight seats. The NDP in 41 seats and the Liberals with 25 seats. Minus 135. <laughs> now, this is a little bit more closer to what I also think is going to happen. I do think that either the Liberals or the NDP will come in fourth place. And now that Jugmeet Singh officially ended his coalition, he might gain some support back. If that's the case and this happens, that means Trudeau would go from first to fourth. I don't know if that's ever happened before. We have a, a long history. Well, not that long, but long enough. I'm sure maybe like a long time ago, maybe it's happened. But let me know in the comment section. Have you ever seen anything like this before? In a liberal country, by the way. Right? Like the liberals do have a, a, a long history of winning. They've won, won many elections. In fact, they've won the last three. And now it's like they're they're not even gonna they're not even gonna finish in the top three maybe. But either way, in NDP and Liberals in third and fourth place is a okay with me. I'd rather them just not even be there in the first place. We can get an actual left leaning party, not a far left party like the Liberals and the NDP have come. But that being said, and take a look at this map. I mean, it's just it's just blue everywhere except for some northern parts of. Uh, Manitoba and, and Saskatchewan and the territories but other than that I mean you can see a little bit of orange here and there a little bit of red here and there in Montreal and some orange in Winnipeg but everywhere else it's either blue and then of course you have the, the block in Quebec but looks like they might actually come in second place which would kind of be hilarious wouldn't it I know I would really enjoy seeing Pierre Polyev and Blanchet as the you know the, the going head-to-head -head in um question period while you see the liberals whoever's going to be leading them next and the ndp just kind of sitting in the corner with elizabeth may just completely irrelevant they barely ever get to speak wouldn't that be great no more hearing christian freeland's annoying voice i i fantasize about a day like that where you can just watch politics without hearing too much from the liberals because we've heard enough from them for the last 10 years not just politically but also socially and i think we all know what i'm talking about the left has just gone too far left for too long, and this is what happens. And this is what, what happens when you have this for so long and things have gone so bad. The pendulum drops. And it doesn't drop to the middle. It drops all, it swings all the way over to the right, and that's what's happening in Canada, which is a very liberal country. That's, I mean, I'm shocked to see a poll like this, but again... It is what I'm also predicting. I don't think the liberals are going to get that 25% of the vote and, you know, 81 seats. I, I don't see it. I think 338 has them at, well, let's just check here. I believe they have them somewhere between 51 and 100 seats. Well, this is Ontario. just want to see this here. Okay, so it's just showing 81 seats, but there, there's always a range, right? So, the, But the Liberals are going to be well below 100. They might even be, be below 50. They might even be below 30, which would be exactly what they deserve. And I'm sure a lot of you guys agree with me. So let me know again what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think this is more of an accurate prediction of what's really going to happen? Do you think that maybe this guy, I don't think he's conservative bias, but maybe he does have some conservative bias. Do you think that's what's going on? I know if you look at like Nano's polls, he always has the liberals doing better than everyone else because he's got a liberal bias. So I'm thinking maybe that's what's happening here. But also, I can totally see this happening. 
So let me know what you think, guys. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks again so much for watching. I appreciate you all very much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll be back shortly with a new video.